It is an instrument for observation over, around, or through an object. But have you ever wondered how the light rays pass through the periscope? Let's find out! Don't worry, because you can also try it at your home without having to make a periscope yourself. You only need a paper, pencil, marker, two mirrors, ruler, protractor, and a laser. The first thing you need to do is a draw a periscope on a paper. For the second step, measure the two mirrors at 45 degrees. Then, place the two mirrors on the paper. And lastly, illustrate the light rays by using a laser. At this point, the laser or light enters the periscope, striking the mirror 1. Then, it reflects on the mirror 2. And the last reflection from the mirror 2 brings the light to our eye. Based on our observation, do you think the angle of incidence or the angle that strikes a mirror are congruent or equal to the angle of reflection that the angle it bounces off the mirror? Yes. If the design of the periscope includes mirrors that are positioned at the 45 degree angles, then the angles of incidence and reflection at each mirror will be congruent. This means that the angle between the incident ray and the normal to the mirror surface will be equal to the angle between the reflected ray and the normal.